Queen Naomi's shocking return to the Elife kingdom is leaving everybody speechless. This is so this is so heartbroken by all of the honorees because now they will be thinking of what exactly they can do again. What are the plans they can do to make everybody think that they are not against Queen Naomi? What exactly they can do again because they have tried to send this woman out over and over and over again. It is just like as if she is a spirit. She is going to bounce back for whatever is going to come her way. She is going to bounce back from whatever is coming her way. And this is not something they are even interested in. They are not entirely interested with what Olori Toby, uh, Olori, um, Toby Phillips has to do. Yes, they are not interested in what she has to do because everybody now is focused on Queen Naomi. What exactly they, can they do? How exactly can they send, them out, uh, send her out again? Because she has found, found a way inside the palace. Then, of course, it is illegally. Yes, that is what they are all saying. Meaning that they are going to throw her outside of the palace as soon as possible. So, guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on when and where you are actually watching us from. This is Royal Updates TV, where we will bring you top gist from the entertainment industry and also from the Oni of Ife Palace. Queen Naomi's shocking return into the palace of Ilefe is leaving every single one of the Olori speechless. Because they cannot realize, they cannot even think of what exactly they can do right now. They are short of words. They are short of ideas. Because everything is seeming like it is going to all fail at the end. Which it is looking like now. Finding another solution to sending Queen Naomi out is so stressful because they have done it over and over again. Trying to look for one thing that can send her outside of the palace of Ilefe. But it is impossible because Queen Naomi is still doing whatever she loves. No matter what the other Oloris are saying, whether they are speaking the truth or not, she is still doing what exactly she loves and she is happy with it. She is very happy with it because she doesn't have to stress so much. She doesn't have to stress so much to get whatever she wants. That is what she has been planning to do for a very long time. But in this instant, at this point, they have already realized that Queen Naomi has become a public menace. That is what they have recognized Queen Naomi as inside of the palace of Ilife. That is what they have recognized her as, which is not even fair in any type of way. In any type of way at all because Queen Naomi has been a help to all of them. She has been a help to every single one of them. And yet, this is the kind of betrayal she gets. This is the kind of thing she gets at the end. Which is not right at all in all circumstances. It is not even right at all. Because now, everybody has to be wishing. What does Queen Naomi have to do to leave the palace? How are we going to send Queen Naomi outside of the palace? What is going to happen next? All those type of topics. That is what the Oloris have been looking for. That is the same thing the Oloris have been looking for because now they are ready to do anything at all in their power. To send out Queen Naomi no matter what the consequences may be. Whether Oni is still planning on helping her or not. They are not even trying to hear whatever he has to say. Because they have already realized if he still leaves this woman where she is, then it is going to be a huge type of trouble for them. It is going to be a huge type of trouble for them. So instead of coming in and making such decisions for themselves, they have to realize that Oni and Queen Naomi are on the same side. Oni and Queen Naomi are on the same side. So if at all he is still, they are still trying to do anything at all, to make it feel like as if Oni isn't still isn't in love with Queen Naomi, then they should continue, because that will be a boost for uh, for Oni and all his compatriots. That will be a huge boost for all of them, because now they will get to realize who exactly is helping who inside of the palace of Ilefe. Whether you are against Queen Naomi or not, everybody needs to know their own position inside of the palace. Whether you are doing it right or you are doing it wrong. Every single person needs to know who is the boss because that is where everything is going to start from. That is where every single thing, every entire thing that they are doing, whether good or bad, all of those things are come to go, come, going to come down to those questions. Who is the boss? And now the Oloris are claiming superiority over Queen Naomi 
and they should all know that Queen Naomi is not even trying to help them in any means. She's trying to do everything she can to survive in this life that she is. So guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and don't forget to drop your comments down at the comment section. Go by y'all and peace out.